Morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about Fujitora's devil fruit of the Zushi Zushi no Mi and how he can actually have the powers of four other devil fruits. Let's go! Okay, so the first one that I'm going to kick it off is he can move forward in time. So, it's kind of like the Toki Toki no Mi, he actually has the ability of being able to go forward in time by increasing the gravity around him. So basically he's compressing the space time around him. So relative to everyone else, he is actually aging slower and everyone is aging faster. This is great for him as he could then somewhat go further into the future and deal with that there because it would, to him, everything would be going insanely fast for him. Pretty much he can actually create a gravitational field around him to such an extent that he can actually, while he is moving, he can then go forward in time. He can't go back, however, but he can keep on going forward as long as he keeps moving with that high gravitational field around him. That means that everyone else will just go past him in a, in a blurry, basically. And basically all the fights and everything that's going on, he could literally just skip through like a decade in like a couple of minutes. Um, and this is like actually quite taught in, in basic physics for most of us. And this is really, really, really overpowered because at the end of the day, not only does he have the ability to pretty much manipulate gravity, he has the ability of the Toki Toki no Mi in a sense where he still ages just a minute amount, but it's relative to the entire One Piece universe, he is literally going further and further in time. So he could pretty much do what the person of the Toki Toki no Mi is doing, and therefore he could actually chase the person with the Toki Toki no Mi. Do you get my understanding with that? Like, say Hiori like, came out of the woodwork, she has the Toki Toki no Mi, she decides, I'm going 10 years into the future. Fujitora could chase her 10 years into the future from where he is. He's like one of the only people that could chase her. There is another person that could actually go to that extent as well, but we're not gonna get into that just yet because that is classed for another video. But at the end of the day, going forward into the future at an insanely fast rate, very, very handy when you're trying to get away from an opponent or trying to get the upper hand, so to speak. So that is one of the abilities of the Azushi Zushi no Mi and how overpowered that would be. Next one is compressing your opponent down into a bloody singularity. Now, obviously we have what we have up here and that is a black hole. And what does a black hole do? It has such a strong gravitational pull that it drags everything around it into a into one specific point where it creates everything into a singularity. This is done by gravity acting on space-time, where it just becomes a, a well, basically. And pretty much, once you're in the event horizon of a black hole, you are basically getting compressed down into that singular point. So, theoretically speaking, Fujitora has the ability to completely wipe out Marijua if he really wanted to, or the entirety of the world. We don't understand the full extent of his Delphi abilities just yet, but if he can do it in an array of like the entire of Dressrosa, we know for a fact then, kind of, that he could literally increase the gravity around the entire of Dressrosa and just crush it into one singularity. That is a island destroying ability that he could do. And at the end of the day, that's pretty powerful for a bloody admiral to actually be able to have the possibility of being able to use. So that is why I think it's kind of like Blackbeard's Devil Fruit. Not in the same extent, obviously, but Blackbeard has the ability to drag multiple things inside of him into like kind of like a pocket dimension, so to speak. And this kind of is the power of the yami yami no mi, you can just like gr grab stuff towards him, drag people towards him, it's kind of like gravity acting on it, where he just drags everything towards him and then he can put it into his pocket dimension. 
But for Fujitora's case, he can drag everything towards him and crush it into a singularity. With Black Mist Devil Fruit, he can bring him back out, such as Fujitora could, but Blackbeard's one, they're not completely dead, or they're not completely stardust, so to speak. If Fujitora brought, like, opened up the singularity of the stuff, of everything that he gathered up, if he, like, compressed the entire of Dressrosa, there'd be literally just pure energy that would just come out of that. It'd be like a massive bomb that would explode. Um, so, pretty much, he could compress the entire of Dressrosa into a singularity, then he could literally move that around with him and then just use it as a massive nuke, basically. And the energy given off by that, obviously, I don't know the, the actual area of meters and all that jazz, so I can actually calculate how much that would be, but it'd be a lot of bloody energy that would be exerted when uncompressing that singularity of compressed Dressrosa, so to speak. So that is why I think that being able to create a black hole is a little bit overpowered for Fujitora in the grand scheme of One Piece, but it isn't out of the realm of possibility. He could create little ones. So, you know, it'd be one of those ones. But other than that, let's get on to his flying abilities. Now, flying ability for him, he doesn't seem to actually have the ability in order to just levitate himself. So maybe he can just, like what Tekking said, was he can just manipulate things around him, like the objects, with the gravity, just not himself. Now, I kind of like this idea because he can then reduce the gravity acting on a certain object in order to stand on, and then he can pretty much float and fly across. Now, we have seen him be able to push and pull. This actually does work, and we'll get onto how the push and pull actually works in the last one, but at first he can basically fly like the float float fruit, or Shiki's devil fruit, the 4-4 four, four fruit, which is pretty damn overpowered, so theoretically speaking, the guy could make his literal battleships fly above the sea, so pretty much kind of like Uranus, like what people have speculated it to be, like something in of the sky, like an ancient weapon of the sky, maybe get Pluton and just make it levitate. That would be pretty damn cool because at the end of the day, that would pretty much just fire down a hail of destruction upon people and you could near on not even get to it to even take it out. So either way, it's very overpowered and I love the idea of flight with his devil fruit and it works really, really well with like his gravity ability, so to speak. Last and finally, he can move faster than Kizaru. The dude could literally run faster than Kizaru if he really wanted to. Now, with his gravity abilities, he can actually increase and decrease the amount of gravity acting on certain areas. So theoretically speaking, he could increase the space-time around him. So, say I'm standing in front of you and I expand the amount of space-time in front of me. This starts to somewhat pull a little bit because you're stretching space-time. Think of it like a fabric. And then, think of it like this, he could then pretty much compress gravity at the back of him, which causes a push-pull effect, which makes him go fast. Now, how can he go faster than light? Well, light follows along space-time, right? If you follow me right there. But as soon as space-time is bent, the light gets bent too. So, that being the case, if you are actually manipulating that space-time and increasing it at the front of you and, and at the back, you can literally move faster than light. So not only that, Fujitora could literally go faster than light. And that is one of the most overpowered abilities going, because at the end of the day, he could literally have be so fast, he could literally use his observation haki and then be able to just go 
and no one could even stop him because he's going that fast. Not even Kizaru could go faster than him. He could catch Kizaru and cut him if he really wanted to at using the compression on the back of him and the expansion of space-time and the front of him. This is absolutely insane and I really, really love the idea of this Devil Fruit's ability. There is so much more that gravity can do and if this video is pretty much well received on that, I will go more in depth and I will actually bust out the math on this because at the end of the day, I love science. And I've been holding back on this because I've been trying to um, try and make it perfect, so to speak. But um, I really want to talk about some other Devil Fruits that are like major game breakers, like yeah, we're gonna. I want to talk about like the Magu Magu no Mi, the science behind that, and the Pika Pika no Mi, and how that's just bloody overpowered more than you realise. But other than that, guys, please tell me what you think on the Zushi Zushi no Mi, and what you think of the abilities that could possibly use just by manipulating the gravity of his Devil Fruit, in in such a way he can pretty much fly, crush people down to a singularity. He can move faster than anyone, he can go forward in frickin' time. The dude's basically a powerhouse. He does deserve the rank of an admiral. That being the case, guys, have a lovely rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be Saturday. Take it easy, guys.